One thing I want to talk about too, Carolyn, is the conversion of a traditional IRA to a Roth IRA. Well, you know, with that, the, uh, a traditional IRA can be rolled over to a Roth IRA. Mm -hmm. But the income taxes must be paid on the pre-tax amounts exactly. rolled over in the, uh, to the IRA in the year of the rollover. But there's no premature ta uh, withdrawal tax on and, that. And that's a good thing, too, because uh, when you convert, and this is important, a traditional IRA mm -hmm. to a Roth IRA, you have to pay the taxes up front. Mm -hmm. And like you said, within the year mm -hmm. uh, of which the transfer uh, occurs. Uh, there is a penalty if you do not take these funds or you, uh, no, I shouldn't say take those funds, when you attempt to convert a traditional IRA to a Roth uh, and you don't pay the taxes on the, uh, the amount that should have been paid for uh, to uh, convert the traditional IRA to a Roth IRA. What about a rollover from a traditional qualified plan to a Roth IRA? Now here, I'm gonna talk about okay. this for a minute. All right. Uh, participants that are in a employer-sponsored retirement account, mm -hmm. let me define that, 401k, the, the TSP, 403b, uh, the 455, 457, I'm sorry, governmental plan. You can convert the traditional monies in the employer-sponsored retirement account and roll it over or roll over out or transfer to another qualified plan or an IRA. Again, we must pay the taxes within the year the transfer took place. That's very, very important. Now, what about a rollover to uh, a Roth IRA? Uh, say from a Roth account to a Roth okay. IRA. Well, you know, participants who receive a distribution from a Roth account mm -hmm. and a qualified plan need to roll that distribution over into a Roth IRA in order to maintain the tax-free status mm -hmm. of the future uh, distribution. Exactly. Let's look at the Roth IRA participants. Well, you know, participants in a traditional or non-Roth qualified plan can roll distributions over to a Roth IRA. Mm -hmm. Now, the rollover amount less any after-tax contributions is included in the gross income for the you, year. Yeah, you know what's, in, what's important here, Carolyn? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can take and receive a distribution from the qualified plan need the roll over the Roth into a Roth. Mm -hmm. You mentioned ha the fact that to maintain the income tax-free character of the Roth distribution. Mm -hmm. Well, some folks say it's, it's important to know where, this is what's important, in, to know where to get the monies from in order to pay the taxes in the year that the transfer is taking place. Uh, I'll give you a good example. I'll make it simple. Let's have $100,000 and we want to roll this money into a Roth. All right. Uh, let's say you're in the 24% uh, tax bracket. You take $24,000 out of your $100,000 of pre-tax money, okay, the $24,000 is subject to taxation, and then you only have, uh, um, what did I say, twenty four? yeah, $24,000, then you only have a $76,000 Roth. So you're taxed twice, <laughs> okay, yeah. pre-taxed. Mm -hmm. uh, hardship exception, we've got the Secretary of the Treasury, the authority to waive the 60-day rule where rollovers fail uh, failure to comply due to casualty, uh, disaster, uh, or events beyond the reasonable control of the taxpayer. Now, if the 60-day rule is not met for a variety of specific re uh, uh, reasons, such as the error on the part of the financial institution, a taxpayer can make a uh, written certification, mm -hmm. all righty, to an IRA uh, trustee or plan administrator and then he or she can rely on the taxpayer's self-certification and accept the rollover. Uh, folks, I would uh, consult a tax uh, advisor for that uh, in the event that you need to, to make that type of uh, move. Uh, you can go to our website and get a free rollover kit. Go to www.justasfreeman.com.